So here is the brand new Volvo 550 E-Class excavator. And this is to fill the gap between the 480 and the 750. This machine is around about 120,000 pounds, around a 60 ton machine. Uh, it comes standard, I think, with the five and a half yard bucket. And he was saying that this machine will also work with like 480 size buckets. So you have the option of uh, being able to swap it out with different machine attachments. Uh, the expandable undercarriage, um, it's right at almost 14 feet wide when it's extended and each track will slide in about 12 inches to kind of help with transport to get it closer to the uh, 12 feet range just so it's not so wide to haul around. All the catwalks do fold up to kind of help narrow everything up. Uh, 13 liter six cylinder motor. I don't know what the horsepower is offhand. It does have the option for the additional counterweight up top so that this machine can run a bucket of that size and still be stable. So this is actually the first time I've seen this machine in person. Pretty good size. I'm gonna hop up in the cab and check that out do a little bit of digging with it so uh it does have the taller undercarriage on it so that puts the top of track about four feet off the ground that's a wide bucket though that's probably a 72 inch wide bucket teeth are over 12 inches long let's check out the cab of this thing so let's check everything out get the heat going it's about 30 degrees up here it's a little chilly this morning let's put this on warm here cut the heated seat on while we're talking let everything get set up here so this machine pretty much like mine just two and a half times bigger and the bucket huge on it <laughs> um da -da -da -da. let's get this set up what did i do there we don't need that that way we can see everything so this machine uh let's see what what did we do we were going through all the you can do a lot of different changes on here, like your boom down speed. You can set it faster and slower. And your hydraulic priority. Um, if you're sitting there loading trucks, you can set it where the swing's a little bit slower than the boom up. And your travel speed and everything. You have a creep mode where you can set it up where it'll just use one pump or two pumps. And uh, as you're tracking, it can be faster or slower. You can just kind of sit there and, and speed that up. And then you can cut it off and have your standard, you know, high and low. This machine also has the joystick drive feature. So you gotta hold this button down for like two seconds and then that will actually put your drive features and functions on the joystick so you got there's a roller switch on the back and if you don't want to use the travel pedals you can have that set up where you can just hit that rocker switch and drive forward and backwards and then there's another one over here that'll turn you left and right so if you're just kind of sitting here doing a bench cut you can cut that on where as you're sitting here working all you've got to do is just you know you don't even have to take your pick your feet up off the floor you can literally just reach down grab that and track backwards which i think is a pretty cool feature and all that's set up in those creep functions like say you're you're you've got a piece of pipe hanging from your bucket right here 
and you want to go where was it no wrong button you can put in creep mode right here and set that down so as you're as you're sitting here tracking when you go and do other functions it doesn't really take the power away from the track so normally when you have that off if you're sitting here tracking in low range and you go to swing or boom up or anything it'll cut your power away from the tracks and then it'll it'll have a good jolt and then that's when stuff can start swinging and get all erratic and everything so that kind of makes a night makes everything a lot smoother so i'm going to come over here to the edge set the camera up and do a little bit of digging all right let's see what this bad boy will do digging some rocky red clay here that's definitely packed that's it i need to turn that off there we go digging from uh, outside.
So there it is, that is the new 550E beside the 480E. As you can tell the bucket is a fair amount larger on that machine versus this one. You can definitely see the width difference between the 480 and the 550. It's a big machine. You move a lot of yards of dirt with that thing in a day. Let's go see what else they have to try out out here. And this is the 530. That is the model in between the 480 and the 550. This machine actually has the fixed undercarriage on it, uh, like the 480, but you can also get it in the extendable undercarriage. So the 550 actually has, it's a wider and longer undercarriage for more stability over this one but i do believe you can now order this machine with the extendable undercarriage on it so this one is uh one size smaller than the 550 and the bucket is pretty much the same on it